You're listening to the Paul Stanley Cooking Show. All right, let's get started, people. I was talking to somebody backstage before, and they were telling me there's a lot of you people out there that have blenders in your kitchen. And I was playing around with a blender the other day, and I took a rutabaga. I ain't talking about no Winnebago, people. I'm talking about a rutabaga. Believe me, people, you don't need to be Julia Child to turn on your blender and see what you can make for yourself. You got to believe in yourself, people, because your blender at home is like a friend you don't want to do without. And when you find yourself scrounging around in your refrigerator for things to blend up, because by God, there got to be enough juice in that blender to get me ready to blend it up, people. Now, one thing that you people may not know out there, but when you're blending, you got to have yourself a nice big mug to pour that right into. You got to believe in yourself, have the right ingredients, and just go for broke. Well, oh yeah! So when you're ready to blend it up, I suggest sincerely, people, you look at the Western House Paul Stanley Blender. Watch out, baby! All right, people. You know we're here to party tonight, and I was talking to some people, and we were saying we're gonna get high for Luton. I'm talking about bolognese sauce, people. How many people out there know what I mean when I say bolognese? I ain't talking about what they do down on the Bowery, people. No, New York. I'm talking about a sauce. A sauce you can put on spaghetti. You can put it on breakfast. You can put it on me. One thing that became real apparent to me, I don't know, maybe around 78 Love Gun, is that well, I needed a sauce in my life. With all these different sandwiches and different backstage arrangements, I needed a sauce to keep everything together. And bolognese was my sauce. And I'm here to share it with you. Well, I'm here to tell you Kiss fans out there, the bolognese sauce, I don't know, maybe it's the finest sauce made. It adds a zest to everything I do. It's like ragu, but with a twist. You can add new flavors, people. I was on the road once. I remember me and Ace playing around with a little girl who let us put bolognese on her rump. Wow, yeah! You know what I'm talking about now, people. You know, it's real funny, people. Some people ask me, well, Paul, why don't you give us one of your recipes? Why don't you go to paulstanley.com and you check out my bolognese. You tell me if you ain't living just a little bit larger when the week is through. Because you know, people, I know, 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 know. Listening to the Paul Stanley Cooking Show. How many of you people out there know what I'm talking about when I say crock pot? Well, I call it a rock pot. Some people, some people out there, some people use a wok. I don't know what you call it, but I call it a pot. And this is a rock pot. And I'm gonna fill it up with all kinds of trappings from my fridge and show you people how easy it is to make a little something. How many of you people ever feel like you're down in the dumps too? I don't know what that means, but when you're down in the dumps and you're hungry, 